This is tutorial 1-7 in the GIS tutorial 1 book. We're on page 28. So the first option says save your document as tutorial 1-7. So let's go to our file tab and do a save as. Change the 6 to a 7 and click on save. On the menu bar click selection and then selection options. So here we go. In the Selection Tools Settings frame, click the color box. So here's the Selection Tools setting frame right here. And we want the color box right here. And we want to click Amethyst, which is this one right here. Click on that. Uh, and then click on OK. And what that did was it changed the color of our selection outline. Now we're on number five on the menu bar. Click Selection and Zoom to Selected Features. So Selection and Zoom to Selected Features. So it should zoom in on this area of the map right here that's highlighted in purple. On the menu bar, click Selection, and then Clear Selected Features. So let's go to Selection, and then Clear Selected Features, and that should take away the amethyst colored outline. We're at the top of page 29. In the Table of Contents, right-click U.S. Cities, and choose Properties. When the dialog box comes up, we want to click on Selection and for the tab and the symbol button which is this one and for the shape we want square 2 which is here we want the color to be amethyst which is this one again and we want the size to be 12 instead of 18 and then we want to click on OK and then we want to click on OK so now if we select a city it should be a square and its color should be amethyst. So uh, we need to go to our select button up here and then let's click on a city and we get a purple city and it's square and I'm assuming that is also size 12. And because we're inside of the state, we also got the state selected as well. And now on step number five, we want to clear the selected features. So let's go to selection up here and then let's do clear selected features. Now let's go to page 30. And I'm going to skip the your turn again. We want to set the selectable layers. So we selected the city last time. We also got state. Maybe you don't want that to happen. So. Um, clear selected features, I just did that. Uh, we want to go to bookmarks and we want to go to the 48 contiguous states. And in the table of contents, turn off Colorado counties and Colorado streets. They are already turned off. At the top of the table of contents, click the list by selection button. And we get U.S. cities and U.S. states. These two were not selected. And now we're on number four. Clear the check boxes for Colorado streets, Colorado counties, and U.S. states. Um, so not selectable, not selectable. So all of those are not selectable now. And now only U.S. cities will be selectable. And we're on number five. Click the Select Features button and click a city. So let's do the Select Features button. And we'll click on Omaha here. And Omaha turns amethyst, but none of the surrounding states do. Okay, and now we're on the top of page 31. It says Clear the Selected Features. So let's go to Selection up here and tell it that we want to clear the selected features. Now we're on the middle of page 31. Select by Graphic. We want to click bookmarks and we want to go to Florida. So bookmarks and Florida. Click the list of the select features button and click select by circle. 
So we're going to click select by circle. That's on the down arrow here. And then click inside the state of Florida and drag to draw a circle that includes the three cities in Florida. So it looks like we've got one here, one here, and one here. So this is about the middle. And we will go outwards until we've got all of those selected. And now all three of those cities, because they're now selected, are now amethyst and they are squares. And now we want to go back to our bookmarks and go to the 48 contiguous states. And then we want to save our document. That is the end of tutorial 1-7. So file, save.